points, advocacy theory should not go unchallenged. There are no absolutes in human theory. Advocacy is a human theory, so it is not absolute. There are other problems with advocacy. Social issues are often complex and need a multidisciplined approach. It might be unwise for a person, however trained, to help another person. The reason being the advocate might not have the skills or knowledge to deal with the complexity. Also, advocacy works on the old model of thinking that rational thought can lead to social change. But we live in a postmodern age, which means arguments hold no sway. In the end, this means all social policy will not be made by well-thought plans, but merely by inclination. Bruce, Religion in the Modern World, 1998. For my part, having thought minuses, I think we need advocacy. The arguments against advocacy are weak. There is actually a theology of advocacy. Jesus was the best advocate of all, Mark chapter 7, 24. He often helped the weak, poor, and downtrodden. Also, advocacy might not always be always right, but it is a movement trying to do its best for the weak in society. And finally, postmodernism is no threat because we all have minds and we all think, so thinking, debating, reason will always be with us, so let us use advocacy. How does advocacy work? Let us look at race relations and see how advocacy works in practice. First, as an advocate, you need to be informed. There are th certain things on ad certain things on advoc an advocate needs to know in this area. The first thing you need to know is the law. In the Ancient Act was stated, then amended in 2000. This Act says it is unlawful to discriminate either directly or indirectly against a person because of race, colour, nationality or ethnic origin. This act applies to employment, housing, education and services. Also you need to understand certain terms that are used officially or culturally. Black is a term with exploitation connotations. Discrimination is a term to denote a way of acting that deprives a person's choice. Institutional racism, this means a collective failure to provide appropriate professional services to people. Prejudice means acquired beliefs or values that make people biased to another group. This is just an example of what you need to know here. Perhaps the Declaration of the Human Rights for the United Nations on the 10th of December 1948 includes how we should be informed on this issue. Quote, all human beings are born free and equal in dignity and rights. They are endowed with reason and conscience and should act toward one another in a spirit of brotherhood. Everyone is entitled to all the rights and freedoms set forth in this declaration without distinction of any kind such as race, color, sex, language, religion, political or other opinion, property, birth or other status. End of quote. There is also a history which one should never forget. For example, in AD 43, the Romans invaded Britain. In 2040, 240 AD, African soldiers served in the Roman Emperor's army on duty defending Adrian's Wall. In 1288 to 1488, there was a small Irish community in London. In 1290, Jews were expelled from England by royal decree. In 1530, Henry VIII banned gypsies coming to England. In 1550 to 1750, Huguenots came the three slavery, slavery officially ended in the British Empire. In 1880 to 1914, Britain experienced a major Jewish influx. In 1945 to 1950, Hungarians came to live in Britain. In 1948, the Nationality Act was passed, giving UK citizenship to the British colonies. In 1968, there was an influx of Indian migrants. In 1988, there was an influx of Somali asylum seekers. This is just a small example of the rich and important history of multiculturalism in British culture. This history helps to make us appreciate national diversity. But knowing about the law and the history is one thing. We need also to, to identify problems. There are problems of racial tension in our country today. A few years ago, Peter Hitchens gave us some idea of the racial tensions when he wrote an article against youths who persecuted a white, browny group. He writes, 
A brownie pack has been forced to leave the church where it has met for more than 20 years after parents and pack leaders ran the gauntlet of racist taunts and stone throwing from local youths. The result of the, the situation was that parents stopped seeing their children to the Brownies Club. The local vicars ended up being assaulted and the local church of the Brownies was trashed. On top of this, the leaders were intimidated. What could have been done to help here? Once we know there is a problem, then there needs to take action. If I was an advocate for the Brownies, what would I do using the skills we have learned? about advocacy. Number one, I would tell them they are valuable. Number two, I would form a management committee. This would have local people on it, police, clerics, Muslims and Christians. Then we would use our combined strength on the issue. Conflict resolution would be a priority. Three, then I would go into the local schools and educate the Muslim children about the brownies, perhaps show them a video of what the brownies do education breaks down prejudice. Four, I would organize a day trip for Asian youth to come and see what the brownies get up to. Five, I would visit the Asian youth parents and let them know what their young people are doing. Six, I would provide some space in the brownie hall for the Asian youth to use if they had no place of their own. Seven, I would go to the council to ask for a grant to provide youth facilities for the youth. Eight, I would organize cleaning day on the community where the Asian youths and brownies could work together. And nine, so the Asian parents can meet the brownie parents all the time. I would be encouraging the small brownie group. Uh, sources for this uh, lecture are Vico, The Challenge of Black Theology in South Africa, John Knox Press, Glasgow, 1989. S. Bruce, Religion in the Modern World, Oxford University Press, New York, 1987. G. Guterres, The Power of the Poor in History, Orbis Books, London, 1983. P. Anderson, Skills in the Neighborhood Work, Routledge, London, 2001. M. Hill, A Sociology of Religion, Heinemann, London, 1977. D. Moberg, Church as a Social Institution, Baker Books, Grand Rapids, 1984. H. Niebuhr, Theology and Sociology, Castle, London, 1996. R. Nicholson, A Black Future, Trinity Press, London, 19. God in Africa, Paternoster, Grand Rapids, 1988. R. C. Sproul, The Holiness of God, uh, Reform Publishing, Grand Rapids, 1994. And D. Williams, Profiles in Liberation, 23rd Publication, Connecticut. 1988. I hope this lecture has inspired you to engage in advocacy. There's a lot of work to be done to get alongside marginal individuals and groups and to stand up for their human rights and I hope this uh, little lecture will encourage you uh, to get involved in advocacy in your local area. Uh, may God bless you and uh, I hope this um, video has been a blessing and inspired you to get to work in your local community uh, on advocacy issues. Thank you for listening and God bless you.